Hi guys and welcome to the RGL Forza Motorsport Championships. We have the V8 Supercar Series, Round 5 Race 9 from the Infineon Raceway. And again, the second race of the round, long course layout and it's 4.06 kilometres of track. And in the previous race we saw uh, not too many incidents, just a couple of sp uh, spin out by Bloxy and Ollie clipping the wall on the main straight, but otherwise a very clean race and a very dominant performance by Eli once he got out into the front there, Alcimo could not catch him. So reverse grid, let's take a look at this, DeadX and Ollie 9394 on the front row, followed by Eskimo, Sammy Joe and Zulu for Movie Madness Motorsport. Rob360 is paired up with Pistol Fit and Blogsy starting from 7th with Elsimo in a slightly unfamiliar position of 8th for the reverse grid, normally starting from the rear but as mentioned he couldn't quite catch Eli in the uh, in the first race of the round finishing in 2nd and the final row is held by Relentless who qualified with pole position and Eli winning the race obviously scoring quite a few points there starting from the rear of the grid Let's get this underway. Looking forward to it. We've only got one round left after this. What drama could possibly unfold with the reverse grid race? And we are starting. And very slow start. Dedex has got a good one there. And everybody off the track pretty evenly off the uh, starting line. Elsimo out wide. So almost going in, in pairs. So this is where it'll start to bunch up a little bit. And some contact uh, bumper to bumper stuff there in the uh, towards the back end of the pack. And just on board with Elsimo, a little bit of contact with Relentless that sort of shot him into Eli. And now Elsimo is going to look for a bit of a pass here under brakes, just wedging his car in a little bit. And got a bit of contact here. Ooh, oh, and that was almost almost a disaster there. So. Uh, Eli getting shoved around a little bit there and Dedex still leads the pack through with Eskimo in third place Zulu in fourth followed closely by Rob and Vlogzy 360 and just watching out for any contact here got a couple of really hard breaking corners very tight and Ollie looks to have got around Dedex on the outside so that's a pretty bold manoeuvre puts him on the inside for the next couple of turns and he's made that pass stick so Ollie into the lead for Movie Madness and they're starting to bunch up a little bit there in the back end of the field. Rob looking for a move on DeadX here. He's got the momentum. It's going to be a very brave man to try and get past him in these couple of corners here. But he might look for an inside dive going into the hard hairpin. And yes, Rob360 making the move. DeadX giving a bit of room. Relentless up on the inside of Eskimo, but that hasn't stuck. And he's coming around for the uh, straight here on board with Rob360 as he starts to chase down only 9394 in a very unfamiliar position for the V8 supercars. So head up the hill now. Oh, okay, we've something has happened on pit straight. Zulu's been spun around and we've got a bunch of guys that are a fair way off the pay pace here. Uh, 147799 is a very slow lap for Rob360. Um, we've got a whole bunch of them looking like they've got some issues with their vehicles but we'll just jump back out in front here so there's a big gap back to that pack something's definitely unfolded we'll get a replay for you as soon as we can on that one and Ollie under fire from Rob360 and Pistol Fit and Pistol looking for an inside pass here and he looks like he's made it Ollie's gone pretty wide here and that'll allow both those drivers through. So Ollie back in the third place. So he'll be a little bit disappointed there. He's normally pretty good at holding his uh, holding people off. Oh, he's going a bit wide. Big moment and Relentless looking for a move here. I oh, there's almost contact. Relentless going wide again now. So he should probably back off and look for a pass on the inside on the uh, on the slow hairpin towards the end of the track here. And Ollie's still sort of getting a little bit out of shape here. Pit window is open as we speak. Relentless can't quite get the stick, so he's going to lose a bit of time here to the uh, other two running out in front. And you can see here the gap back to the other guys, so obviously some dramas unfolded quite, quite a lot. And they're all going in the pit lane. One, two, three, four, five of them in pit lane. 
and Zulu coming in from the very back there you can see the top right of your screen so 6 pistol fit with the next fastest lap 138 941 so we've got 4 out on track in pistol fit Rob 360 Ollie and Relentless and the rest are in the pit lane and this will show us why on board with Relentless now and we've got Blogsy and DeadX ahead of him and a little bit of contact and Relentless has just tapped the back of Oh, there's some contact there. I can't quite see. Blogsy's spun right out. And just on board now with DeadX. So, oh, and there's a massive hit there from Zulu. It spun him right around. And we're now on board with Zulu. So, this has involved quite a lot of vehicles here. So, Zulu just trying to get past, and there's no room left. And then he's been collected by, I think, Elsimo. Now, yeah, this is on board with Eskimo Sammy Joe. So, Relentless has spun him around, a massive hit there from Zulu and oh, Alsimo almost rolled it. Let's have a look at this again one more time. Big smash there and there goes Alsimo and Eli had nowhere to go. So that is a huge incident there on the pit straight. There's a people lose control there, there's walls either side and we've got Blogsy here who looks like he's uh, gone off the track and still losing a little bit so he's dropped back towards uh, Zulu who was right behind everybody so lots of damage to cars and even then you can still hard to make any sense of it but it looks as though uh, Relentless uh, wasn't expecting DeadX to uh, drop back like he did and just gave him the slightest of taps and spun him out and Eskimo has come along and bumped into him and the rest unfolds in its history now as Pistol Fit's moved up five, Relentless up seven. Ollie's down one position and Rob 360's up one as well. Elsimo up three spots at the moment. And Eli Chugga Jones up four spots. He started last on the grid. And Eskimo down four. Deadex right down uh, some spots thanks to uh, that whole incident along with Zulu so a lot of spots gained and a lot of spots lost in just inside of uh, three laps and whoa Alsimo big slide there just holding off Eli at the moment so again these two battling it out and it looks as though Eli's got the pace in the race for this one he's just Alsimo can't seem to get a gap on him and I think it's just a lot of this section of the track and you can see it again just sliding out a bit and Eli looking for an inside dive there. Managed to uh, hold the car back and not cause an incident. So going down into the sweeper now. Look at all that damage on the vehicles and also man, just stepping the car out once again. So perhaps his car's a little bit unsettled along with Eskimo Sammy Joe's as well. So great battle between these two guys and Given what we've seen in the first race of this round and now this one, uh, we to see how the next round holds up between the two of them and Pistol Fit just improving slightly on his previous fastest lap. And so these guys haven't even factored in the in the uh, fast lap times at the moment. Still travelling around in the 138s to 139s. And Eli all over the back of Elsimo here and he might look for a dive on this last corner. I think he's going to try and make a He's going in, he's dived deep and Elsimo just a little bit of a tap, a couple of taps there. Let him know he's still there. And Eli should have it done I think. So Eli has moved up a position. And we've still got about a lap and a half to go. As they head up the hill, Elsimo now putting the pressure onto Eli. Give him another couple of taps, so let him know he's there once again and Eli just holding his own, he's done a very good job there, keeping it steady. Oh! Craig Lands, if you don't mind, Alsimo flooring it out of that corner there and still managing to keep up. And just get this car going straight and he's doing it again. You would think he's uh, practicing some drift racing at the moment with all those slides. And now we're just on board to see whether or not Rob360 can jump back into the lead after Pistol Fit had taken it in the first couple of laps. And just coming through the back end of the course now, Rob360 and heading into the hairpin. Pistol Fit's still in the pit lane, it's a very long pit lane. 
and this one will be pretty close. On to the final lap now. And Pilsfit just coming out of the pit lane, he's got it. Well and truly, he's got plenty of time there. The question is Relentless, and Rob 360's managed to stay ahead of his partner, Relentless. So Rob into second position, Relentless maintains third at the moment with Ollie in fourth. And just going back to the battle for fifth and sixth with Elsimo and Eli. And Eli still managing to uh, stay ahead of Elsimo. So in the end I'd have to say that uh, Eli's won, won the bragging rights for this round. And Elsimo I'm sure will return a much hungrier driver for a win in the final round of the series. Even though he's got the V8 supercars pretty much wrapped up, um, unless of course he does get a DNF and finishes somewhere in the uh, lower positions in the second in the second race, there's uh, no real chance of him losing the, the title for the first uh, season of 2012. So coming around the sweep for the last time, and we just jump ahead now, we can see the gaps now from first, second and third. Pistol Fit and is about to make it another winner with Eli Chugger Jones notching up his first win and now Pistol Fit bringing home a win for Champion Motorsport his first of the V8 Supercar Series so he'll be pretty stoked with this um, obviously managed to get through all the carnage in the first uh, lap obviously helped his chances of uh, getting to this position but bit of luck on his side, he's uh, managed to do the rest based on skill and too fast for Rob360 and Relentless. You can see there, Eli Choco Jones managed to hold out Elsimo and he finishes in fifth. Ollie with his best position, best placing um, in either series with a fourth and equal best finishing position for Movie Madness, uh, Zulu got a fourth in one of the earlier rounds so well done to Oli9394, Elsimo dropping back to six so Relentless gained a fair few points there and we'll have a look at the championship standings for the V8 Supercar Series after round five and as you can see there Relentless 152 points behind uh, will take some very bad luck on Elsimo's side and some good things to go Relentless, Relentless's way to challenge for that and a very close battle there for third with Blogsy and Eskimo for SYB, just one point separating them and Pistol Fit not far behind. So we look forward to the final round in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more, check out www.regionalgamersleague.com and we've also got a RGL Facebook page and Twitter. Thank you for watching.